Blending whisky is all about reinventing traditions. I love to think of how individual aromas and tastes can be combined together to create something that's different. It's almost intuitive, and that's where the art begins to take over. And that's why I love working with whisky, the idea of reinventing tradition daily. My name is Jim Beveridge and I'm a whisky blender for Johnny Walker. I'm responsible for all the great flavours that you find in Johnny Walker blends. I've been making whisky for 37 years and it just gets more interesting every day. Flavours have always fascinated me. I love the idea of taking individual flavours and wondering how they can be modified by combining with other flavours. Essentially to satisfy my curiosity, and also, to, if you like, to satisfy my palate. Even at breakfast time, I like to blend the flavours of porridge and yoghurt and honey and just see how I can make these very simple ingredients work together. And I joined Johnny Walker as a chemist to understand and analyse the flavours that are found in Johnny Walker products. Quite a technical world. That, however, really uh, fired up my imagination. So I moved from the science and technology of making whiskey to create these wonderful whiskies that we see today. Whiskey is made from water, yeast and malted barley. This is an exciting part of the process because this is where it all begins. You can see the, the barley here is beginning to germinate. As the barley germinate, the starch held in the barley begins to convert into sugar. I just love the smell of this malting barley. It, it's, it's wonderful. And when it's finished germinating, we're then going to dry it very quickly over a peat fire. This is the peat. It's made from decayed moss. The moss rots down and compacts and creates this peat. And when this is burned, it creates a very unique aroma. These strands of old, ancient moss, these are thousands, that's thousands of years old. And every time I smell the peat, it reminds me where this smell comes from. Scotland is a very unique place. It's the reason why Scotch whisky is what it is. There is a great heritage of whisky making in Scotland. The climate or the environment in Scotland, it's neither too hot nor too cold. We get wonderful, the warm Atlantic air comes across, which is full of moisture. And that is one of the reasons why Scotch whisky is so unique and so different from other whiskies made elsewhere. This is an amazing process. It's the malty barley is mixed with warm water. The enzymes in the malt convert to sugar, and those sugars will then be used to ferment into alcohol. Originally, it would be done by hand, and they'd be trying by trial and error to perfect their art. It looks very technical. And behind that technology, there's years and years of hard work by the distillers to try and perfect this process. It's an amazing smell, that, actually. Mashing and fermentation have produced a strong beer. So what we do is we take the strong beer and we distill it. That distillate is going to create the whiskey. This is full of liquid up to about here. And we heat the liquid up. It's actually quite hot. They're made of copper because copper is a very reactive metal. There's lots of reactions taking place, creating lots of flavors. If the stills were made out of any other material, it wouldn't be whiskey. It would, it would be completely different. You can smell amazing smells coming across here, and every, every minute the, the flavours change. When it starts at the beginning, it smells very much like rich fruits. As the distillation continues, those flavours will become more complex. It's essential to understand the technical aspects of how whiskies are made. 
Because with that knowledge, the skills get to the point, it becomes almost intuitive, and that's where the art begins to take over. Different whiskies will taste differently from each other. Some are very distinctive, some are less distinctive. Some will play a very important, creating particular flavours. The job of blending is to understand those flavours and capturing those flavours at a different stage and combine them to create great blends like Johnny Walker. Here are some whiskies you can see here. This one could be from Benrinas, our famous, famous malt whisky. And this could be some from Kalila. Quite different flavours. And the art of blending is knowing how to combine those two together. Considering the flavour, and this has got lovely, fresh, fruity flavours. This would be great. So I'll take some of that and measure it out like this. It takes a lot of patience to create a blend, lots of trial and error, till eventually I've combined all the whiskies into whiskies that I want to be together. So you look at the colour, the aroma, and the taste. Drinking whiskey is an amazing experience. I think a great analogy is the analogy when you consider the flavors as if they were waves on the sea. When some of the waves break on the shore, it's like this huge burst of flavor that you experience with a Johnny Walker blend. So those flavors begin to spread out in the palate and begin to emerge and, and begin to reveal themselves. The long lingering smokiness, for example, just stays on the palate as the whole experience begins to subside and go back, as if it's going back into the sea from where it came from. And that's the great way of describing the flavours that you experience with Johnny Walker blends. I've got the individual cask samples here, yeah. and I've already assessed those by sensory. So these are the good ones there? These are the good ones that we have. Legacy there. is very, very important. I stand in the shoulder of giants. Many people have gone below, before me and, and have taught me what I know now today. That's a huge asset and a huge privilege to be able to be associated with those great people from the past. And so right now it's critical for, for me to pass on that knowledge to the, what will be the next generation. At the end of the day, I'm still a scientist. I still want to find new knowledge and I want to be able to apply that knowledge. That's why I do it and that's why I enjoy blending and that's why I enjoy making whiskey.